High Park United Church was like a block above us on the corner of uh, Annette and High Park. My parents, incidentally, were the first people married in that building in 1909. So they were presented with a big, uh, a lovely Bible, a very nice. My sister, one of my sisters got it. I don't know where it is now. But anyway, we all went there. Uh, we went there to, to Sunday service in the morning. Then when we, were, we went to Sunday school in the afternoon. And when we were old enough, like teenagers, we went at night. We went to church three times a day. But that was the social center of the whole community. Now there was Victoria Presbyterian, the Baptist Church across the road, there was St. John's Anglican down the way, there was St. Martin in the Fields, that was our area. Now there was a young man that uh, ran a, a, a boys Sunday school class in the afternoon, on Sunday afternoon. And there was a wonderful uh, gym in the basement. So he ran a, this Sunday school class, plus he had floor hockey on Wednesday nights, okay? But if you want to play floor hockey, regardless of your denomination, you had to go to his Sunday school. So my husband, who was in went St. Martin's, which is high Anglican, <laughs> higher than the Catholics actually, <laughs> he went to that, so he went to Sunday school. So all the kids in the neighborhood went to Sunday school at Hyde Park United. Then when we were teenagers, after Sunday school, you'd walk all the way down to Bloor, you'd walk all the way out to Jane, past Jane, maybe to the old mill. And then there was a, uh, the Kingsway Pharmacy was on the corner of South Kingsway and Bloor Street. You walked all the way out there and had a soda or something like that. It was wonderful. Apparently, when I was going there, that Sunday school was the largest Sunday school in the British Empire.